I'd like to start with Nilofar Ayubi. She's a Afghan journalist in exile. She joins us live from Warsaw in Poland. And she is familiar with what's going on in this viral video. Nilofar, I'd like to start with you. We can all agree that heckling, uh, you know, is not something that, uh, you know, anyone endorses. It's, uh, it's, it, it's not something that anyone can support. So I want to set that aside for a moment because uh, nobody, you know, likes anyone being heckled in this manner. But I want to get to the substance of what we've seen here, uh, Nilofar. You understand the words being used by the man in the video. Where does this anger come from? And you definitely understand it, Nilofar. Thank you so much, Sushant. Um, well, as I, I also mentioned in the previous interview, yes. that the anger comes from being homeless, being a refugee in a European country, starting from scratch while having a perfect or at least normal life back in your country, but you were pushed to this European country where life is not easy at all, um, where, where you have to face racism, where you are treated um, as a second, third class citizen. And uh, this is something that you have not chosen for yourself, but you are forced to, to live this life. And this is where this anger comes from, mm. um, especially after 20 years of having what we call a democracy, right? Yeah. Uh, where we were moving forward, where things were changing, where my country was finally moving forward. Um, and when we thought that, okay, this time we got it, this time we were going to keep it and hold it together. And just right when it was feeling comfortable for us and we, we were getting a hang of this kind of life, suddenly the carpet from under our feet was snatched. Mm. And who helped this carpet to be snatched? Of course, our um, neighboring countries, politicians. Um, and, 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 and there's a huge, huge involvement of Pakistan army. Yeah. I'm not saying that normal Pakistanis are our enemies. We love Pakistan the same as we love India. But the thing is that we do not love Pakistan politics and politicians. And we, we are very well aware of their interference during the course of history, especially yeah. past 40 years, what you see. So this is the anger built up from all those years, all those losses, all those defeats that we have faced from our own brothers yeah. in neighboring country then I'm, I'm, once again, I do not agree the way it came out. I do not uh, agree with a lot of yes. ugly words said against uh, her wife, his wife, because being a Pashtun myself in, in, my, in my culture, when there is a woman in the center, mm. we even stop wars. This is how we, we, we respect women. Yeah. So this shouldn't have been done this way. And the words which were used against his wife is un forgivable yeah. but this is this is the frustration speaking and this that is, is the, that is the a sign of how much history. anger there is you know even we, uh, the, yeah. the culture that you're talking about which i completely understand because that's the same culture we have here in india even with all that culture in the pashtuns this young man felt the need to express that anger so i hear i hear what you're saying nilofar that is really a, an indication of the kind of anger sushant sarin if i could bring you in you just heard what nilofar said you know this is Years and years of anger built up. This is very personal. And that's where all this anger is coming from. Exactly. Uh, you know, and Shiv, the irony is that it's not just the people who have suffered because of the Taliban takeover mm. who have this anger towards the Pakistanis. The Taliban also have similar anger against the Pakistanis despite the fact that the Pakistanis sponsored, uh, gave sanctuary, uh, gave all kinds of weapons, trainings, all kinds of support to the Taliban, but they also uh, they, they they also uh, you know bullied them. They also uh, you know blackmailed them. They did all kinds of things. So this anger is pretty much across the board. Secondly, and the one point of disagreement with Nilofar is that culture is one thing. Hmm. You know, you to say that you know you should not have abused him in front of his wife. I, again, I'm I'm not saying that. That's justified. But maybe this this guy uh, who made the video and who was hurling abuses as the, at the Pakistani general, uh, who knows what the women in his family have suffered yeah. because of the actions of the Pakistanis. So I can understand, you know, if it is somebody from the government, somebody who has interacted 
maybe the attitude would have been different maybe somebody an ordinary person whose life has been blown to smithereens because of what the pakistanis have done <clears throat> you know maybe his attitude it is lucky mm. and i think this is uh, something which uh, pakistani military officers especially the general officers probably need to be beware of that you can't do horrible things back home and then think that you can go and uh, you know gallivant around europe and america yeah. and australia yeah. and that there will be nobody who will be targeting you so mm. one lesson is that this kind of targeting will happen and not just from afghans who knows next time uh, maybe even asim muni retires in 6 years or 10 years or 15 years whenever he decides to retire uh, the youthias of today will do the same thing to him hmm. so hmm. i think this is very very uh, uh, it's a dangerous trend it's a warning. i suspect this is only uh, going to grow as you go forward and finally one very incongruous point you know at a time when pakistan is desperate for foreign exchange hmm. you have stopped the imports of medicines you have stopped you know your industry is closing down because you can't import raw material here is a former army chief the de facto ruler of the country going around and spending money in france said like that. you know it's all hunky dory back home and there is no dearth of foreign exchange pakistan is hip and happening i think there is something deeply insensitive in taking these kind of holidays by these kind of people